To us humans, a small kiss on the cheek or head is a gesture of affection. As a result, it's not uncommon to see dog owners show affection to their dogs through hugs and kisses. But do dogs perceive kisses and hugs as signs of affection? Or do they simply accept them as a strange quirk we humans have? How to tell if a dog doesn't want to be kissed or hugged? And is it sanitary or safe to kiss a dog on the mouth? Stay tuned as we unpack these topics and more in this video. It's a natural human reaction to want to kiss those we love. We humans are social animals who receive and provide reassurance through hugs and kisses. We manifest this affection towards our family and friends, so it makes sense we might do the same for our beloved pets. However, it is important to remember that dogs are very different species with their own methods of communication. Within the parameters of canine body language, kissing and hugging don't exist. You may think that licking is simply their version of a kiss, but the reason a dog licks is not necessarily the same as why a person kisses. When a dog is kissed, it means bringing our face very close to the dog's face, and this is something that puts dogs in a very vulnerable position. From a dog's perspective, putting our face close to their faces and plastering them with a kiss on the nose, mouth, or forehead may be perceived as a threat. Likewise, when we hug our dogs, we wrap our arms around them which can make them feel vulnerable and generate a feeling of being trapped. A dog who doesn't fully trust you may interpret a gesture of affection of this kind as an invasion of their space. In general, if you've just adopted a new dog into your family and kiss or hug them to show affection, they will likely not understand your purpose behind this behavior and may even try to back away as they feel intimidated. Your dog might freeze up and enter a state of inhibition. They may even snarl or bite if the response is ignored. In these circumstances, the dog will reject hugs or kisses because they cannot understand the behavior. How to kiss your dog properly so they know you love them As we've already explained, if you have a newly adopted dog, they will not yet understand your hugs and kisses and may become stressed and confused. They will not want your face near their muzzle and may feel the need to defend themselves. With time, however, dogs may learn to associate kisses and hugs as a display of affection. This can be done if the kisses are accompanied by gentle strokes, expressions of joy, and tasty rewards. These forms of positive reinforcement help dogs learn your behaviors and customs, specifically that the action of kissing is something that poses no threat. After the repeated pairing with petting and affectionate tones in the voice of the owner, dogs may go beyond tolerating kisses into liking everything that surrounds the kissing experience. The dog may grow to accept and recognize kisses as a sign of love, and your pet may even respond by licking you back. Licking is an instinctual dog behavior. It is a trait they carry out from the time they're puppies, and it's motivated by several impulses. Mother dogs will often lick their puppies to keep them clean and give them comfort. When your dog licks you, it's their way of grooming you and showing they care about your well-being. It's a sign of love and affection and a great way to bond. Dogs also use their tongue to explore the world through scent and taste. By licking your face, your dog can find out a lot of information about you. They know what you're eating, where you've been, assess your mood and health, and detect many smells which are imperceptible to us. With dogs who accept kisses as a sign of affection, licking is the way they can reciprocate the favor. This is why when your dog greets you when you come home, they may try to lick your face. Your dog is showing you affection, but they are also finding out information about you. Is it unhygienic to kiss a dog on the mouth? There's great debate whether it's okay and safe to kiss a dog. While there are those who claim dogs spread diseases, Others argue that kissing your pet can enrich your own bacterial flora and even strengthen the immune system. Most of the bacteria in a dog's mouth prefer a dog to be the host, which means kissing your dog is less risky than kissing a human. But that does not mean there are no risks. Dogs don't brush their teeth. They eat things off the ground or out of the garbage bin. They may also raid the litter box. Many of these bacteria are zoonotic, meaning they can transmit from canine to human. On the other hand, some state that the negative effects of these bacteria can be reduced or nullified in people who have a strong immune system. This means kissing a dog is bad depending on the type of bacteria present in that dog and the health of the person who kisses the dog. 
How to tell if a dog doesn't want to be kissed or hugged A dog who doesn't want to be kissed will show their stress by leaning away, looking away, pursing and licking their lips. They often tense up and stop wagging their tail. They may even hunch over or reveal their teeth as a warning that they do not like what is happening to them. A lot of people miss those signs, and when they try to kiss the dog, the dog snaps at them. Never force an uncomfortable dog to endure close physical contact. This is especially true when you meet a new dog or a rescue. One study has shown that bending over a dog, putting the face close to the dog's muzzle, and making eye contact are the main cause of dog bites. All these behaviors take place when you kiss or hug a dog. Sadly, the study found that more than two-thirds of the victims were children. Young children often perceive dogs as stuffed animals. They want to hug them and smooch them as they do with their toys. Another study has found that dogs show more signs of stress like yawning, freezing, lip licking, or elevated heart rates when they are touched on the head or muzzle. If your pooch wags its tail, licks you, races around and shows excited behavior when you kiss them, it is a sign they enjoy the kissing or hugging experience. However, if your dog does not respond in this way, it is best to find another way to show them you care. Showing your dog affection the right way There are many ways to show your dog affection beyond kisses or hugs. Most dogs are a big fan of being close to their owners, so you can show them love and affection with cuddles, pets, and a loving voice. It all comes down to spending time with your dog. Play with your dog. Binge watch some TV from your beanbag chair and let your dog snuggle with you. Exercising together is also a great way to bond. Take your dog for frequent walks and hikes and allow them to explore the world. Some dogs even make good running companions. You can also try teaching your dog some fun tricks. Those treat-filled training sessions can be very enjoyable for dogs and will reinforce the bond you share. When you both work to make each other happy, you're both showing your love for each other. Remember, when dogs lean their body weight against you, they are showing you affection. One way to tell your dog you love them is to lean into them and let them lean on you. Don't push them away or crush them. Just the right amount of lean will demonstrate that you love them. And perhaps the best way to show your dog affection is to simply give them attention. Nobody, be they human or canine, feels loved while being ignored. Now that you know more about how dogs respond to hugs and kisses, let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you kiss or hug your pup? Does he or she seem to like it? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.